Aries, you're human. It's okay. Time to forgive yourself. Check out this week's reading. Hi, Aries. Welcome back. So, Aries, this is going to be the week of April 14th, uh, general tarot reading. Now, I switched up the formatting a little bit, so I already have the cards out to make these a little bit faster. Let me know if you like this uh, better than how I usually do it. So, uh, testing out something new. If you're new to me, by the way, welcome. Also, check out my social media account links down in the description box below. Okay? All right. So, Aries, um, the overall energy for the week is the Nine of Swords, which talks about feeling stress. Okay? I can see um, an obvious message here regarding um, primarily relationship, but I will break it down um, into different groups here at the end. As a general energy this week, Aries, I feel like um, coming from the recent past, you have the King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. So I feel like you've been trying to be more emotionally available, emotionally balanced, focused more on being independent, feeling okay with who you are, putting a lot of work into yourself, your self-esteem, for some of you, your career. But I do feel like that there's been this internal struggle that's been going on here, Aries, and I see it continuing here. So like I said, you had uh, the Seven of Swords here. So I feel like underneath the surface, Aries, um, there's a whole different story than what you're showing the world, okay? And so I feel like um, for a lot of you coming into this week, what that energy causes is this almost indifference, you know, being a little bit detached. You're not an air sign Aries, but I feel like you're coming off uh, with very strong air-like qualities this week. Um and in the fact that, you know, you're a little bit aloof, you're a little bit detached coming into the week. And I feel like there's a lot going on under the surface. And that's the primary cause of why you're just simply, you know, not interested. You might have great things going on around you this week, Aries, but you're having a difficult time seeing it. Um... I do feel like this is all beneath the surface, though, because what you're showing the world, male or female, is the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles energy. So this is um, someone who's very confident, who knows what they're doing, and I feel like you're putting on that, like that strong suit of armor this week, Aries. Um, but underneath the surface... You know, towards the end of the week, I still see that same energy here. So you're ending the week on the Nine of Swords, um, Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. So needing to walk away from that, um, of which no longer serves you, and what's no longer serving you right now, Aries, is your mindset. So how you are thinking through this uh, situation, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you are really stressing and worrying and having anxiety and and it's unnecessary, okay? I mean, I know that life can be stressful. Don't get me wrong. It's a natural emotion to feel stress, but there has to be a limit to it, you know, because really stress and worry, it doesn't impact the outcome at all. It just, it just keeps you stuck. It keeps you in a stagnant vibration. And so just, you know, reminding yourself that come what may, you know, worry's not going to stop, uh, whatever's next, you know, and for some of you, you have a really, really big decision to make, and that's why you're so stuck in your head about it, worried about maybe the consequences, what's going to happen next, um, you know, is somebody going to walk away? Maybe you're trying to make a decision to walk away. Some of you already have or will be... Um, but I, as an overall energy, it's really simply, I think, walking away from this. Walking away from these thoughts that keep you stuck. Okay. And needing to take action. Okay. 
So that's the general energy uh, for Aries this week. And so I'm going to break it down into a few different ways this could uh, potentially work out in the real life, real life. <laughs> so I want to break it down into groups. If this is relationship, this is group one. I do feel like there's an extremely strong connection here, okay? You have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups that were at the bottom of the deck. And then the Hermit, also at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like Aries, a lot of thinking over, I feel somebody that you have, uh, you feel is your soulmate or you have a lot of love for, yet not necessarily communicating what is stressing you out. So I feel like Aries, some of you, you know, you may be uh, walking around and um, putting on this happy face. Some of you are no longer with this person, no longer communicating with this person. And you may be putting off like, you know, like, I'm good all by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, like, don't need nobody. I'm Miss Independent or Mr. Independent. You know, you know. Um... <laughs> But I feel like deep down, underneath all of that, I clarified, and you had the world card, the page of wands, the two of swords, and the three of swords. I feel like you're hurting. You're hurting. Underneath all of this, I feel like, you know, it's like wanting a new chapter in your life. And so you're kind of putting it out to the world. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready for my new chapter. And you are. I'm not saying you aren't. But there's this piece of you that is still lingering on the heartache that you've had to go through to get here. And I feel like it clouds your mind. It keeps you stuck in your head. You know what I'm saying? It keeps you from making decisions. Um, so I, I feel like that's particularly if you're no longer with this person. I feel like you're holding a lot of emotions inside. You're more focused on improving yourself. You're not really interested this week, I don't feel, in any additional love offers. Um, even if it was this person who hurt you, um, I feel like right now you just kind of want to detach from it all, you know. Put your mind somewhere else. Uh, but I feel like you're having a really hard time to do that. You're having a really hard time with that this week. You're having a hard time making the decision to completely walk away. So even if you've walked away, you know, not communicated from this person on an emotional, energetic, spiritual level, you're having a really hard time letting go of like the cords of attachment. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that you're still trying to seek enlightenment on the why. On the why. Why Why is this person come into my life? Why did they trigger these emotions in me? Why do I feel so connected to this person? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of whys here. So, like I said, this is primarily those of you who had, you know, are not communicating with whoever this is pertaining to. Um, so, within this group, that's group one. Group two, and you can be in all of the groups or one of the groups, okay? Pick what resonates. Group two, I feel like... Um, there just might be, you know, if if you are, if you didn't have an ending here, say you're in a very long-term relationship, I feel like you're, you've been trying to be more emotionally available, but there's a lot you still keep to yourself. You know, I feel like the communication about emotions is not the best. I feel like there might be times where you or your partner go through a bit of depression or kind of sink into that. Um, that anxiety that also comes with depression, you know, um, I heard guilt for some of you, you feel guilty, um, or your partner does. And it's just like, make the decision to forgive yourself, Aries. I feel like 
the word guilt never comes to mind when I see this. So that was important. You know, if you feel like you've let yourself down, and that's what I feel like this is referring to, or let your partner down, there's a need to forgive yourself and to walk away from that this week so that you can truly, truly move on. Okay. And so, yeah. Yeah. Group three, actually, I feel like that message is whether you're in a relationship or not. So Aries, that's, just take that as it is. Group two, the yes, this could be for those of you in long-term relationships, but I feel like for the majority, this is whether you are or not. I feel like, you know, it's, it's time to let go of the... Shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Regrets, guilt, disappointments. It serves you no good. It's, you know? It serves you no good. So that's, like I said, group two. Um... Those are the two primary messages that I'm getting out for you, Aries. Really, you know, that could even apply to work. The last message. But for most of you, I see this as mostly relationships. So I do hope that helped. Um, these are quick. I um, will tell you the zodiac signs I have out. I have Virgo. I have uh, la, 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 Pisces. <laughs> Um, water, so could be Cancer or Scorpio as well, and air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this is a general reading though, um, those could just be the energies that you're carrying this week, not necessarily the zodiac signs, take it as it resonates uh, for you, and I wish you all the very best, and until next time Aries, namaste.